Hello and good morning, y'all. Today, we're making Chef Sean Brock's famous chicken and dumplings. For this recipe, you will need two cups of self-rising bread flour. If you do not have that, you can make this at home by combining one cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Two quarts of chicken stock. A box of chicken stock off the supermarket shelf also works great. I do not have chicken stock, so I am gonna mix chicken concentrate. But if you don't have this, you can also just take some Nor bouillon cubes and that'll do just fine. Two cups of buttermilk plus more as needed. Last but not least, a three and a half pound whole chicken. Mine is a bit bigger. Whatever you have works just fine. Next, give your chicken a good and thorough rinse in some warm water. To rinse off any impurities and to knock that cold chill off the meat. On the stove with your pot of choice, preferably with a lid, over a medium heat we will start preparing our stock. Add your water. Water. Yeah. Water. Right down. Water. Uh -huh. Water. Okay. Water. What? Water. Drip. Water. Splash. Water. Add and incorporate your base of choice. Cover and bring to a simmer. 15 minutes later. Now that our stock is ready, in goes our chicken. Depending on the size of your bird, you want your chicken to fully cook and simmer from anywhere up to an hour to an hour and a half. Cover again and let cook. You'll know your chicken is ready when you can simply pick it up and it falls apart. If you look closely, you'll notice that we have also just made our own at home chicken stock. The process of making this recipe is to also make your own chicken stock. Look at that rich and glossy stock. Once you've got all of your chicken out, be sure to leave your stock at a simmer. You'll come back to it later. While our chicken is cooling off, it's time to start on our dumplings. Always remember to start wet ingredients first, then dry ingredients. In a mixing bowl, take your buttermilk. Very slowly, start incorporating your bread flour. With a fork, get it all working together. Be very careful not to overwork your dumpling mix as they will become tough and chewy. Once all of your flour is inside your bowl, stop stirring and start folding. You will never have to buy biscuit dough from the store again with this simple and beautiful method to get airy, light, and fluffy dumplings. Push the bread flour handy.
To check for good consistency, you want to be able to clump a piece of dumpling together and simply hold it in your hand without it separating. Add a touch of salt and it's ready to go. To scoop your dumplings, you will need a nice big spoon. Before every dollop, be sure to dip your spoon into the hot soup. This will make it easier to drop your dumpling. One at a time, nice and smooth, drop your dumplings in. Once your dumplings are set, you do not want to agitate them, but you can simply, if you need to, just push them back to make room. You don't want to overcrowd your dumplings, but you absolutely can fill up your nooks and crannies. Once your pot is covered, just let them cook. Now that our chicken is nice and cool, we can start pulling it apart. This step is all your personal preference. If you want shredded chicken, you can make shredded chicken. I personally prefer to get nice and big chunks. It's just me. Either way, it's gonna be delicious. All you wanna keep is the chicken. The fat, however, I give it to my dogs. The bones, you don't need them. It is all your personal preference. eye on your dumpling. You want to maintain a simmer for the entirety of their cooking time. Pro tip, take your spoon and baste the top of the dumplings with hot stock. Do not turn them over however, they're gonna cook just fine. Let them do their thing and be patient. When your chicken is all picked and clean, add a touch of salt, season it up however you like, and then to the stock pot. Let's go!
to add your chicken, simply go around the rim of the dumplings, pull them apart, and drop your chicken right through the side, just like so. Be sure to drop chicken around every side. I do not recommend dropping the entire chicken inside of one pot. You'll have some left over. It's a lot of chicken. To check the consistency of your dumplings, simply take a toothpick or what I have, a cake tester, and just poke your dumplings. All you want is to see it come out clean and you are good, you are in business, your dumplings are ready. For garnishment ideas, I recommend some nice fresh chopped celery, any herbs you may have, and always some nice cracked black pepper. Serve it up and enjoy. If you found this video insightful and entertaining, please do leave me a like, subscribe, and make sure those notifications are on for the next time I put out a nice video for you. Thank you, and have a good one.